no life like the good life. Ah yeah. Yeah, here we go. Ah yeah. Let's go Mets. Let's go Mets. Mets fans. It's like being in New York. Ah yeah. VFC's travels on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Miami, Florida, up from Key West to catch three games in three days with the Mets opening series with the Marlins. Florida's filled with a bunch of transplanted New Yorkers, so it's always like being in New York City when you come down to catch a Mets game in Miami. Game one for us, which was game two of the series, had a little bit of excitement, but it was relatively uneventful and the Mets lost this one. I tried some chicharrones, if you followed my travels to Colombia, you know I love chicharron, but nah, this was pretty soft, you can tell it was frozen beforehand and I shouldn't be able to stick a plastic fork in there like I was here. Nah, I'm not going for that chicharrones. You could actually see the disgust on my face there, but that might be because the Mets are losing, but I'll tell you what I love about Miami is it turns into it's a nightclub atmosphere, uh, the stadium's nightclub atmosphere, and then when you're finished with the game and you're on your way out, there's always a nightclub going on and they grab you in there. The Marlins fans don't buy tickets so they gotta get money from you somehow. Nightclub's the way to do it. First base dugout club entrance. We're ah, going yeah. VIP style today. Ah yeah, let's fucking go Mets. Let's go Mets. Ah yeah. So game two for us, game three of the Mets series with the Marlins, Dave's Mets dugouts organized a VIP event for all the Mets fans. The wristband was free food and drink all game and great seats. No life like the good life. Ah yeah. There's our star PD doing his warm-ups. I met Dave from Dave Mets dugout years ago in Seattle at a Mets game. If there's still any Mets fans out there that don't follow Dave's Mets dugout yet, you should. I should have got a selfie with him instead of Mr. Marlin here, but I was so excited with the seats I forgot. So all you can drink and all you can eat at a baseball stadium, it was actually pretty much a dream come true. Really enjoyed this game. Ah yeah, we had one more in for us. I'll tell you what though, baseball game in ah, yeah. Miami is legit. Ah yeah, stadium's great, the vibe is great, and the Mets winning's even greater. Ah yeah, ah, yeah. life like the good life. Uh, yeah. One more game. Today, uh, yeah. today we get to see Senga. Senga. Really excited to see Kodai Senga's first game as a New York Met in the MLB, but first we stopped for some street food on the way in. I'll tell you what, those hot dogs were delicious. Right drop. Right drop. Uh, yeah. So the vibe was electric with Senga, and you can see all the Japanese media were there following him. The, the guy couldn't walk anywhere without all those cameras following him. And there's Zenga's first appearance in front of New York Mets fans in Miami, Florida. Ah yeah, the excitement was real, the fans were excited, so was VFC. The adrenaline and anticipation you can see was getting to Senga a little bit and he had a shaky first but he bared down and looked dominant for the rest of the game. With all the Senga hype, there's some hype for Ronnie Darling, 1986 Mets hero and one of the three of the best broadcasting group in the history of baseball, Gary Keith and Ron on SNY. There's Mr. Marlin showing his moves out there. You gotta hand it to the Marlins. Uh, they make baseball fun in Miami, no matter who you're there to watch. There's Lindor, so we had these great seats. We were enjoying the game. We gotta watch a lot of Senga strikeouts. Senga, uh, yeah. Both pitchers really struggled in the first inning. Senga had them jitters, but he bared down, got a couple of strikeouts, and then was dominant for the rest of the game. We got to see ourselves a Pete home run, pretty stoked. And then when we thought Senga was finished for the day, is uh, Buck Showalter put him back out there. Uh, he got one strikeout so that he can walk off the field in the middle of an inning and get a standing ovation from the Mets fans after his first start as a New York Met. And with Justin Verlander injured for us, uh, Senga stepping up really makes a difference. Ah yeah, Senga, great game. And you can see the appreciation of the Mets fans for being there. So here you got Vogelback, Scherzer, and uh, Pete Alonso there, and I'm sure they're saying, hey, isn't that VFC from VFC's Travel sitting back there? Petey kept trying to ask me for an autograph there, but I said, hey man, you gotta worry about that, and we'll get to that later. Great seats, great result as the Mets won again on Sanga's first start, and great dad sometime. VFC's Travels on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. Follow on Instagram, like and comment on the video, and then the drive back to the Keys for us. Ah uh, yeah, there's no life like the good life. That's what I like to say. VFC's travels on YouTube. Let's go Mets. Let's fucking go Mets. And let's hope for a great season.